Okay, folks, it's Thursday night. I'm getting for, ready for the weekend. Um, I have a couple of people coming over. Um, so I'm going to make um, some steaks and some other couple of things. And I'm also going to make some smoked salmon. So what we have here today is about three pounds of salmon. Uh, I picked up these beautiful fillets from the market today. And we're going to cure them almost like a, a, a gravlock would be cured or dry cured by putting them with different seasonings, putting them in the refrigerator with a little weight on them. You can eat this literally right after it comes out of the refrigerator and, uh, and becomes cured. Or at that point, you can leave it out for a little while, let it uh, get into its tacky stage, and then you can smoke it. And that's what we're going to do. This makes a phenomenal smoked salmon. Uh, and when you think about the fact that a little piece, maybe an inch and a half wide by three or four inches long of smoked salmon is about 550 and this whole filet was six dollars, then it's worth the little time and effort you're going to do to make some nice smoked salmon. So let's get started. I'll just rinse off my hands. All right, we're going to start with our dry rub. This is one what's going to start to bring out all the moisture in our fish here, our beautiful salmon. There's one cup, and we're going to put that in there. And we're going to do one cup of brown sugar this is like one of those ingredients I hate and I love all in the same breath because it's always so clumpy and doesn't want to come out of the package and join the party so we've got a cup of brown sugar here so notice they're talking about pack, so if I was to pack this down, blah, 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 it would be a packed cup of brown sugar. And we want to mix that equally with our salt, just like that. Okay. I'm going to have to get in there and mix this all up a lot better than what I'm doing right now. And I, I like to keep this dry rub very simple. Some call for tarragon and dill and fennel and all this other stuff. I'm going to do two teaspoons of garlic. And I'm going to do two teaspoons of black pepper. Just like that. Okay. And one teaspoon of cumin, which happens to be one of my most favorite spices in the world. Just like that. We don't want too much though, because that's a real powerful flavor. And just like that, and we're going to mix this all together, just like this. Use your hands, use a spatula, use whatever you want to use. Just get it all mixed together. So the, uh, the salt and the, see, see that, see that extra salt right there? You don't want to see that. You want to see it all mixed together. So it's nice and e evenly distributed. Just like that. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. I wish you could smell this. It's just phenomenal. And this is only the dry rub. Okay. If you want, you want to give it a little kick, we're going to do it just this time. Don't tell anybody. Don't 
tablespoon of smoked paprika. It's going to add a beautiful, oh my goodness, smokiness before even smoking. <laughs> before even smoking this. So I'm going to throw that in. It just, oh God, oh, I wish you could smell the smell that just hit this, this rub. There we go. We're breaking up all the big pieces because brown sugar likes to clump to itself. Okay. Just like that. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to lay out some plastic wrap. Let me get rid of my spices here. We'll put them back there now to play by themselves for now. We got a beautiful salmon pieces. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay out some saran wrap. We're going to lay out some saran wrap about three times of what you need. So there we go. There's one. There we go. Right about there. And we're going to put our first salmon fillet on top of the saran wrap. And we're going to liberally cover it with our dry rub mix. Just like this. I mean, you're going to coat every single inch of this salmon. Just like that. Perfect. Just like that. And then we're going to put our next piece of salmon skin side to this side so it gets that seasoning on the skin side. See how that happens? Amazing. And we're going to take, hang on. Don't want any uh, cross contamination of our of our seasoning here. We're going to take more of this and put it on top, so it covers the entire fillet, just like that. And then we're going to do the same with this last fillet. Fillet on top of fillet. and just cover it ever so liberally with that dry rub. I know it seems like a lot of salt and a lot of brown sugar. This is all going to pull the moisture out of these fillets and it's going to be phenomenal, you'll see. So, let me wash my hands real quick. Now that we have all of that seasoning enveloping these salmon fillets, we're going to wrap this up nice and tight, as tight as we can get. So we've got a lot of excess seasoning. Don't worry about that. Just bring your saran wrap into the center, just like I'm doing. Bring this into the center. What you're going to love about this is the fact that you don't even need a barbecue to smoke this salmon. You don't even need to light a fire outside. 
but I'm going to because I have it available to me and it's 80 degrees here in the middle of uh, January but if you're in a cold weather climate don't even worry about it do it in your oven it's going to work perfectly and you'll have this beautiful smoked salmon that people are going to say oh my goodness where did you get that and you're going to say I made it and it's going to come right out of your refrigerator <laughs> into your oven <laughs> with some wood chips <laughs> so I'm just distributing this paper the saran wrap so it wraps this up nice and tight because we want a nice tight seal around this whole thing this whole little bundle of joy okay I just saw a nice little opening so we're going to make this out of it I'm going to wrap this again as not to let any leakage happen. Sutherland wrap, I've got to love it. Take this whole package of salmon, put it right on top, spread it out. We're going to get nice and tight. And we're going to roll it up nice and tight. Just like this. You want to put another piece? Go right ahead. Whatever makes you happy. Look at this. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm going to do another piece. Bam. Did a bam. Okay. Bam is somebody else. Put this here. Do that. Come back around and over the top and over the top. And we're going to wrap this so tight it's going to be beautiful. Okay, now that the salmon is wrapped nice and tight and it's all, we have three fillets on top of each other. They're all seasoned very well. I'm going to take a Tray, stick the salmon on top of it. I'm going to put it inside the refrigerator with approximately three or four pounds of weight on top of this to help push out the fluid from the salmon. Tomorrow, after 24 hours have passed, we're going to take this out of the refrigerator, put it on top of the countertop, exposed to the air to let it what's called pedicule. It's going to come to a tacky stage where it's, it's deepened in flavor. It's absolutely amazing. You're going to see it. You watch. And then at that point, after about 30 or 40 minutes on the countertop and coming to that pedicule stage, we're going to put it out on the grill and we're going to smoke it. Small little package of smoke, 45 minutes a piece for about four hours. If not, don't worry about it. You can do it in the oven. I'll teach you. You watch. We'll be ready. Hey, it's a day later. 24 hours have passed. <clears throat> Our salmon has been sitting in the refrigerator with that uh, dry rub on it. As you can see, that, well, I'm going to zoom you in. You have to put a tray underneath the salmon when you're doing this because it's going to draw a lot of the moisture out of the salmon. And if you don't, you're going to wind up with salmon juice in your refrigerator. See how see the amount of fluid that just drained out of that? So, all right, now that we've drained the salmon, taking out a lot of the liquid. What we're going to do is we're going to unwrap it from here 
in the sink, of course. And we're going to wash off the salmon. It's a, this is an important step to wash it all off. Wash all the salt off. Look, see there's the filet. See how much they've darkened in color? Absolutely beautiful. We're going to wash this off. Cold water and get all of that seasoning off of it as much as you can because some is going to want to stick. This is considered cured salmon at this point. There's the one filet. And we got one more filet to do. I'm just going to walk, I'm just washing it off, getting as much of that seasoning that we put on here off of here. Because we're going to put another rub on here, what's called the finishing rub. Which is very similar to the to the brining rub or the dry rub. It's just a little different. Take a paper towel or two and just pat these dry. Just like that. We want to just take off the excess moisture. Just like that. Now we're going to leave these to sit on the countertop. You can do this in the fridge too if you like. But it's not a hot day. You can even put a fan on this uh, to speed up the process a little bit. Separate them so they're not touching. Just like that. And we're going to let them air dry and form what's known as the pedicule. Which is a, a sticky little fit. Look how beautiful they look. And we're only halfway done with the process. Look at that. Beautiful salmon fillets. They've been dry cured for over 24 hours. Okay. Now, this is it. We just leave them like this out on the counter <coughs> to dry. If you have a little fan and you want to aim a fan at this, go right ahead. It's just going to help dry off that top layer. This top layer is going to become tacky, almost like you put a little glue on it. And that's exactly what we want. That's going to take about a half hour to 45 minutes. So we're just going to leave this alone. I'm going to clean up. And we'll be back in about an hour. See you then. Okay, our salmon fillets have been sitting. They've been drying out for about an hour. <clears throat> that um, texture I was telling you about, the pedicule, the stickiness, has formed on there. They look absolutely phenomenal. Now I'm going to go and uh, <clears throat> put them in a regular barbecue grill. I'm going to put maybe 10 coals in the top right hand corner or top left hand corner. I'm going to put a little hardwood on top of it. I think I'm going to use apple wood. And I'm going to let them smoke in there very low. I, I, I only want it like 200 degrees for about four hours. And <clears throat> before I put them out there, I'm going to put a, a rub on here. So give me one second. I'll be back right back around and we'll put together the rub for the finish rub. Okay, um, this is real simple. The finishing rub, we're going to take our fillets, put them on aluminum foil. Now this is that non-stick aluminum foil, so they won't stick to it, which would be great. Take your fillets, stick them on. And the finishing rub, which is brown sugar, black pepper, a uh, little cumin, no salt. You can put tarragon, you could put margarine, you can put whatever herbs and spices you like 
and I'm not going to put it on very heavy, just a light dusting because I don't want them too sweet, but I want them nice and browned. So just like that, just a nice little dusting. This will add a nice peppery, sweet taste to these salmon fillets. Just like that. Just You don't want to see a cake of the rub. Just a thin coating. A thin dusting on here. Because these are already fully cured. We're just going to smoke them and impart a little bit more flavor. That's it. If you want it, if you don't have a grill, you can take, um, or you live in an apartment like I used to, you can, uh, I've done this many times in the house, and what you need to do is get a little tray, uh, put a, uh, uh, a little bag, with, uh, make a little bag of aluminum foil, put your wood chips in there, stick it in the oven, in the bottom. If you're running on gas, make sure they're a little moist. If you're running on electricity, you don't have to leave them moist because the electric won't make them char as fast. And just uh, put the wood chips in the bottom rack and put the fillets on the top rack and just let them smoke. I'm just going to roll this up a little bit, just like that. And like I said, I got a little fire I'm going to start outside. I'm going to stick these in and I'm going to leave them there for about four hours. So uh, let me get to that and when they're done, we'll be back and you'll see. I'm going to let you see what they look like, see how much rub is on there. See, just like that, not a whole lot. Just a finish. Give it a nice little peppery, sweet taste. We'll see you in about four hours. Road trip, like I said, this is a simple little grill. Nothing special. The fire is up in the top left hand corner. And I put the wood chips on top and now it's smoking. And boy, is it smelling absolutely phenomenal. You see the smoke. No real fire in there, just smoke. And it's going to stay in there for like three hours. And it's approximately like 200, 220 degrees. There you go. Road trip over. We'll wait until the salmon's done. Okay, folks. Our smoked salmon is out of the smoker. It looks absolutely beautiful. Let me see if I can get in close enough. Look at that. It's absolutely beautiful. If you um, <clears throat> if you have one of those, it smells absolutely divine, and uh, I'm, I've had it many times. I'm sure it's going to taste absolutely phenomenal. Um, if you have one of those vacuum seal machines, uh, I do, but not here. Cut them into like um, two inch wide strips and. Vacuum seal them, put them in the freezer, give them away as gifts. Um, people just love this stuff. Um, it's a very thoughtful gift. Um, I'm going to cut it up into portions, wrap it up, and put it away. Um, but there you have it, smoked salmon, mystery solved. I hope you learned something. Um, come back, and we'll see you next time. Okay, I wasn't going to have any but I couldn't resist. Look how juicy and moist this is even after three hours of smoking. It's beautifully pink inside and done. The outside has that beautiful caramel color. Absolutely phenomenal, I gotta tell you. Do try it. Even if you do it in your oven instead of the, the grill. Look at this, it's just beautiful.